Hey kids, today I've got another exciting animal story for you. Let's get reading. Our story for today is called Tsuro and the House Competition. Say it with me kids. Tsuro and the House Competition. One more time. Tsuro and the house competition that's great kids let's start our story there is a jungle in the african country called zimbabwe zimbabwe in this jungle there's a little animal called a rabbit a rabbit this rabbit's name kids is called Tsuro. Tsuro. So, Tsuro looked like any other animal in the jungle. But all the animals in the jungle knew that Tsuro was different. They could not really tell how Tsuro was different, but they all saw in how Tsuro lived his life kids Turo did not work but he always managed to have nice things around him kids hmm. he did not farm but he always managed to have food Turo did not go to jungle meetings but he always knew everything that was going on with everyone, kids. No matter how difficult a situation was, if Tsuro was involved, he would somehow manage to get out of it without suffering too much, kids. He always managed to get the better end of deals. Some animals thought that he used tricks and magic. Whatever it was, it made Tsuro extraordinary. This extraordinary thing happened again at the beginning of one rainy season. Now kids, Tsuro's house had been damaged by heavy rains during the previous rainy season. Because Tsuro did not like to do heavy work, he had not repaired his house to prepare for the next rainy season. Hmm, he needed a plan. Tsuro was lying on a rock one afternoon and he heard some animals talking as they passed by. Yes, the one animal said, it is true, there is a house competition tomorrow. I am definitely going to join them, the other animal answered. I could use a very big house like that one. Huh, Tsuro was very excited to hear this, kids. He quickly got up and went into the jungle to find out more information. When he asked around, he heard that indeed there was to be a competition to win a house. The house was very big and very nice. Hmm. Tsuro really wanted to win these kids. Unfortunately, Tsuro heard that no one was allowed to know what the competition was about until the time the competition was to start. They did not want anyone to cheat. This worried Tsuro a little, kids, but he was determined to win. He slept and woke up the next day, then he went to the competition. When Tsuro arrived, he saw many animals waiting for the competition. Tsuro realized that he would have to be very clever if he was going to have any chance of winning. When the time came, all came out to announce the rules of the competition. Ooh, ooh, 
this will be very simple. Ooh, I'll say. Everyone here will eat chilies until there is only one animal left. No one is allowed to drink water, take a break, eat anything else, or go or like what others do. Some of the animals were excited and some were worried when they heard this. They were going to eat a type of chili called kachoro found in Zimbabwe. This is the hottest chili in the country. And even those who love chili are wise enough not to eat a lot of it. Some of the animals even drop out of the competition without attempting kids. Tsuro was trying to think of a plan to win kids. And so, he moved to the back of the queue. Everyone was given a bowl of chilies to eat and finish. Folks started eating the chili, and before he could help it, he did the and lost kids. Next was Raccoon. She ate but could not eat the fifth one without going. <laughs> she also lost kids. Lion came after. He cried so much after chewing a whole mouthful of chili skids from the bar that they had to bring a big calabash of water next to the chilies. Oh! All the other animals laughed so hard because Lion was always bragging about how he was the bravest animal in the whole jungle. So then, Elephant came next. He bragged and said, Because I am the biggest, I will not feel the heat of the chili because my body is too huge to feel hot. Elephant swooped a huge trunk full of chilies and threw them in his mouth. After just two chews, kids, Elephant fainted. The animals rolled over with laughter as others went over to help Elephant. After he was revived, a lot of animals dropped out of the queue because they were afraid of something that was powerful enough to make an elephant faint, kids. They didn't want to faint as well. There were only two animals left, kids, in front of Tsuro. Right in front of the queue was Baboon. I'm going to win this Tsuro, he said, trying to be confident. Tsuro saw Baboon drinking a lot of water before he started the challenge. But when he started, Baboon began to... <laughs> and he lost, kids. Baboon was heartbroken. Next was Zebra. Zebra tried to eat some soil, kids. It will make my tongue not feel the heat, Zebra said. As soon as he ate his first chili, Zebra took off running with such speed, kids. No one could catch up with him. Everyone laughed so hard, kids. It was now Tsuro's turn. The little fellow stepped forward. Before he started, he looked at all the animals and said, Good afternoon, everyone. Now, many of you think that I always cheat into getting what I want. Today, I want to show you that I do not use any tricks. Right here, where you can all see me, Tsuro said, as he grabbed five chilies and ate them. Where you can see that I have nothing to help me. I will not even say, never. I will not say, the animals agreed with Tsuro. 
that he did not have anything to hide, kids. Tsuro took another batch of chilies and ate them. In the middle of chewing, he said to the animals, You see, he continued, I am not even doing what lion did. Just imagine a full-grown lion drinking this whole calabash of water like this. Tsuro grabbed the calabash of water and drank all of it, kids, just like what lion had done. He did it in such a funny way and started crying the way that lion had done. The animals started rolling with laughter, kids. They thought Tsuro was making fun of lion and it was so funny that they did not realize that Tsuro was taking that opportunity, kids, to drink water, to do some and to cry from the heat of the chilies, kids. When Tsuro saw that his plan was working, he tried his best to make it funnier. He said, Just imagine, one of the most beautiful animals we all admire, Zebra, was desperate enough to rub his tongue in the dirt. Do you want me to see, to, 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 to show you how he did it? Yes, the animals yelled. Tsuro did not waste the opportunity, kids. He rubbed his tongue in the dirt and he felt a little better. The animals laughed so hard. There were not too many chilies left, but Turo was really feeling the heat. He needed more water. He took some chilies and ate. Mm, mm. No, mm. as I said before, I do not do any ever. No at all and as, as everyone has seen i am not doing any tricks at all <clears throat> remember what baboon tried to do he tried to numb his tongue with water but ended up filling his stomach you want me to show you you want me to show you what baboon was doing yes do it the animals were so excited bring him more water the animals brought Tsuro more water. Tsuro drank a lot of water and made sure that his stomach was full in a funny way. Glow, glow, glow. He then took that chance and ate all the final chili skids, swallowing them quickly. Everyone cheered and clapped hands for him. And with that, Tsuro won the beautiful big house. To this day, kids, the animals did not understand how they let Tsuro get away with winning them over like that. But Tsuro always knows that being smart, understanding people, and treating them well always gets you ahead. The end. Well, kids, I hope you enjoyed the story. See you in another episode of Jungle Tales. Bye.